So I understand that many people want to work from home, probably you as well, which is why you're here. But I know it can be a bit daunting because like maybe you don't know where to start or if this is something that you could even really do or maybe you don't know if you're tech savvy enough. But in this video, I'm going to talk about um, something I haven't seen too many people talk about, which is the different apps and things like that that you should get used to in order to work from home. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I will quickly introduce myself. I'm a 30 something year old black woman who doesn't work anymore. And I want to use my channel to inspire you to live your life, however it is that you want to live it. And I'm hoping this video will help you with that. Now you don't need to be an expert with any of these things at all. That'll come with time. But you do need to understand the basics of how to use the uh, apps and digital tools that I'm going to talk about. So before we start with anything, let's start with some gear. I'm going to kind of gloss over this because there are definitely other things you need to know. But usually when you work from home, you're going to need a laptop or a computer and decent internet. Um, like if you can watch Netflix and play online games with your internet, it's probably good enough to get started. For your device, which is the thing that you will be working from home from, you mainly just need it to not be slow. Um, some jobs have specifications, but don't mind that. Um, many jobs just need to know that you have a workable laptop or a computer. Now, if you don't have a laptop, there are alternatives I'm going to quickly tell you about. You can just check out some tutorials here on YouTube um, if you want to learn more about these things that I'm talking about. But if you have a smartphone that's fairly new, like from within the last four years or so, um, and especially if you have like an Android or a Samsung, you're probably going to have something in your phone called Dex. You're going to find this when you go into your phone and like you pull down that settings menu where it shows things like your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your data, etc. There's going to be this thing there called Dex. And what Dex does is it essentially allows your phone to act like a computer and that it'll look like that typical computer screen that, you know, has like the apps and the folders on it. But in order to do this, right, in order to use Dex, you need some sort of external screen to display it to. So a smart TV or some sort of smart display device will work just fine. So you can use something like Dex um, and like buy a simple Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse and pair it with your phone and then you're good to go because it's going to make it really easy for you to do work from your phone. And then from there, you just need to ensure that you have a browser installed. So either like Google Chrome or Firefox and then you can download any other apps that you need. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to some of the apps or software, or these digital tools that you should know about and get familiar with. These are very important to know about and get familiar with because you're either going to use these same apps or software or digital tools when you're working from home, or you're going to use something very similar. Also, all of these things are free to use, so you can literally get started playing around as soon as you're done watching this. Okay, so the first one is the um, Google Suite products. So this would be like Gmail or Google Mail, Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. You can use all of these things for free when you create a Google account. And if you don't have an account already, you know, you just go to gmail.com and you can create a free account. Other than the email, which is like, you know, the Gmail section or the inbox, the really important products you need to get familiar with are probably Google Docs, which is like Microsoft Word, and Google Sheets, which is like Microsoft Excel, um, which is where you can create spreadsheets. And like maybe Google Slides so that you can create simple presentations. And you don't need to install anything for this. This is all accessible online from within your browser. I do want to mention that Microsoft Word is still quite popular with many companies, but Google Docs allows others to see updates to a document in real time. So these remote companies usually use things like Google Docs um, or similar tools like that. And if you don't know how to use Microsoft Word um, or Microsoft products, using the Google Suite products I just talked about will help you understand all of the basics of that anyway. The second app or digital tool that you should get familiar with is Notion. So you can think of Notion like Google Docs, 
but it is a lot more advanced. Um, like you can create documents and share them. You can create pages and sub pages, upload pictures, create like tables and databases like you kind of would in um, Google Sheets. And when you're working for a company, you're probably going to use Notion or something like it because it's a great way to track documentation. You also don't need to install this. Um, you can, but I would recommend accessing it from online by just going to notion.com. The next uh, digital tools are platforms for video meetings. So Zoom, Google Meet, and Skype. When you do an interview for a work from home job, they're going to require meeting you um, likely through Zoom or Google Meet or a similar software. And when you're working from home, you are definitely going to use um, a digital tool like that to have regular video meetings, like at least once a week with your manager or something like that. Either way, you're going to be meeting with people regularly through video. Now, you don't need to install Google Meet. Um, but Zoom is an app that has to be installed and that you have to sign up for. I believe also Skype needs to be installed and Skype you also have to sign up for. Skype is also free. Skype is less popular as far as I know with these remote companies, but um, it's just good to know how to use it. The last digital tool that you need to get familiar with is Slack and maybe Discord. So have you ever used um, apps like MSN or ICQ in the past? Or have you chatted online in the past using Skype? Slack and Discord are kind of like that. So it's a software that allows you to chat online in real time with other people, mainly through typing. Um, Slack and Discord are mainly messaging apps. So yeah, as an aside, you do need to have decent typing skills. If you get frustrated typing, you're probably going to be frustrated, real frustrated working from home. Working from home is going to require a lot of typing, right? So like you need to get used to it from now. If it's not your strong suit, it is a skill that you can practice. So don't worry. You just got to practice. Anyway, a lot of these companies use Slack to chat with each other about different things without having to go into a video meeting. So they might chat about a project, but they're talking about it by typing and sending messages in Slack. Discord is one that they use sometimes, but I haven't seen very many companies use it that much. Slack is the most popular as far as I'm aware. So if you can use Slack, you can probably use Discord just fine. I believe you can access Slack online, but it is better to install it. All of the features work better when you install it. The same with Discord. Um, for both of these, you do need to sign up. Um, but once you sign up, you can just test everything for free. So I think once you've gotten the basics down with all of these digital tools that I mentioned, you'll probably have a good start to working online. Um, but some other digital tools you may want to check out are Asana and Trello, which are usually used to manage or organize different projects. And again, you can access all the tools I mentioned for free, including Asana and Trello. All of them do have a completely free version that you can try out. So you can start playing around with them or like start incorporating them into your own life. Either way, getting used to these apps are going to help you ensure that, you know, you don't feel completely lost when you start working online. Like how I did initially. When I started, I knew what none of these things were. Like I, I didn't even have a Google account. I knew nothing. No one ever sat me down and like explained these things to me. I had to learn everything on my own. So I hope that I saved you some time and some headache so that at least you get a decent start to working online. All right, that's all I got for you today. I sincerely hope that this video was helpful to you. And if you did find it helpful, I would definitely appreciate if you could leave a comment and let me know. The entire point of my channel is to help inspire you to live your life. So it's really encouraging to me when you let me know that my videos are helping. I'd also appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Liking the video will help YouTube suggest other videos like this to you because you're telling YouTube that you like this type of content. You're also telling me that you like this type of content and subscribing will help ensure that you don't miss any of my videos because if you like this one, you're probably going to like the other ones. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.